Hello everyone, welcome to Exemplar Physics. The topic that we are going to discuss in this video is magnetic effects of electric current and specifically Oersted's experiment. Before that, let us know a little about Oersted. Hans Christian Oersted, born August 14, 1777, died March 9, 1851. Oersted was a Danish physicist and chemist, professor at Copenhagen. After becoming professor at University of Copenhagen in 1806, he continued research on electric currents and acoustics. Under his guidance, the university developed a comprehensive physics and chemistry program and established new laboratories. He observed that a compass needle suffers a deflection when placed near a wire carrying electric current. He published this discovery in 1820. This discovery gave the first empirical evidence of a connection between electric and magnetic phenomena. Earlier, it was believed that the electricity and magnetism were two different unconnected sciences. This discovery played a crucial role in understanding electromagnetism. This research later led path for technologies such as radio, television, fiber optics, etc. are just few to mention. The unit of field strength is named Orsted, symbol OE, in his honor. 1 Orsted is equivalent to 79.58 ampere per meter. Orsted also discovered the element aluminium in 1825. Let us understand the experiment. For this, we need a battery, a switch or plug and key, a rheostat, connecting wires, and a compass. The equipment should be joined as shown, and compass should be brought near the current carrying conductor. I am going to recreate this experiment with the things available at home. If you don't know how to make your own magnetic compass, the link is in the description section. And also, don't forget to watch the video titled Compass History and Working. Let us recreate Oersted's experiment here. We have a compass here. So this compass always aligns in north-south direction. See there. This is north-south direction. Let us check one more time whether it comes to the same direction or not. Yes, again in the same direction. Now, let us take a bar magnet and check what happens. So here is a bar magnet. Let's see what happens. So, attractive force. I remove the bar magnet. It again aligns in north-south direction. Check it. It will take some time, but it is going to align in the same direction as before. Correct? See there, we can play with the magnetic force, repulsion and attraction is taking place. See there, we can play this game the whole day. So what are we seeing? When this bar magnet is brought nearer to the compass, the compass deflects from its position and does not align in north-south direction. Its direction change depends upon the magnetic force it is experiencing because of the bar magnet. When the bar magnet is uh, 
moved away from the needle it again comes to north south direction now in orsted's experiment he accidentally placed a magnetic compass near a current carrying wire so to recreate the orsted's experiment we need a wire conductor and a cell so here i am taking a triple a size battery so it has two terminals positive the cap is positive and the disc below is negative disc is negative cap is positive so let us uh, set up this so what i'm doing is i'm try i will put this wire below this tray and also above it tray, the tray so that uh, we can easily experience uh, the changes in the tray okay so let us not uh, disturb the water though it has disturbed so it will take some time to settle down let's wait until then so in this way you can see i am wrapping the wire around this tray like this so one end of the wire and here is the other end i am going to place the cell in between them then the current will flow through the wire and let's see what happens now i think our compass has settled now see the positive side i am keeping on this here okay positive side and uh, do not okay do not press the other end or do not keep it for a long time so see there do not keep the second terminal uh, the wire at the other end for long time the battery will heat up and its energy will be exhausted so let's see what happens just touch it see that needle deflected don't keep it for a long time hold it properly just momentary touching will do you can see the deflection see that the needle deflected again comes back to the same north south direction let us see this again current passing needle deflecting so i have removed the link open the circuit needle aligns again aligns in north south direction one last time see that current passes needle deflects again return back to the same north south direction now let us do one thing let us reverse the direction of current so now this time i am having the positive terminal on the other side so how to change the direction of current just by changing the direction of the polarity of batteries so let us just touch it and see what happens so as if the direction of current changes then the magnetic field also changes see there compass is deflecting now in opposite direction let's do it one more time i will not press it for long time else the battery will die out last time see that now it is deflecting in the opposite direction and again returns back to the north south direction so what did we understand we understood that uh, the current carrying conductor has the same effect as bringing the magnet near the compass so when i bring a magnet near the compass it does not align in north south direction in the same way when a current carrying conductor is brought near the compass it also deflects so how was the experiment so what did we learn a magnetic compass when undisturbed kept only under the influence of earth's magnetic field aligns in north south direction 
when a bar magnet is brought near the compass it experiences force could be attraction or repulsion depending upon the interaction of the magnetic poles the compass also deflects when the current passes through a conductor which is kept near it this implies current carrying conductor has magnetic effect magnetic field of its own the change in direction of current in the conductor changes its magnetic field the direction of deflection in the compass reverses whenever the direction of current in the conductor is reversed the study of these observations that the current carrying conductor has magnetic effect and can deflect or make things turn has led to invention of fans washing machines mixers grinders basically motors even analog ammeters and voltmeters work on this principle that's all we have in this video thanks for watching i hope you have enjoyed watching this video as much i have in making it please share this with your friends and family members and subscribe to the channel bye bye